Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'll be doing a review of Kitab. Now, Kitab is a fairly new AI copywriter that's new to the scene, but it has some really interesting and very promising features included. Kitab promises to be the first fact-checked, real-time and localized AI writer. So if you're familiar with AI copywriter, sometimes it can be a little bit problematic because sometimes you're not sure if the output that you're getting back is fact-checked. So this can be an issue if you're writing more academic papers or if you're writing a paper within a field in which you want to make sure that the content in which you're writing about is correct. Kateb promises to fix this issue by having a built-in AI writer that is able to do real-time fact-checking while you're creating content. So in today's video, let's do a deep dive into Kateb, take a look at the features, the templates, and the quality of output in which we can expect while using this new AI copywriter. And Kateb is also available on AppSumo. So it's here for the Black Friday deal. If you wanted to grab the lifetime deal, it's just a one-time purchase of $29. So very low cost, and I think it's because it's a fairly new AI copywriter. So you can expect this price to increase as it matures, but right now it's $29 and it gives you 15,000 words per month and you get all of the features included. So pretty affordable pricing for you to be able to try this out. And then if you wanted to get an additional code, you can then purchase just more codes and get more words per month. So once you have a plan for Kateb, this is what your dashboard will look like. As you can see, it's very similar to other AI copywriters. You see all of the specific templates included um, on your dashboard here. But right off the bat, we can see that there's a couple of unique templates. So we have Kateb Plus, which is the fact-checked AI writer. So this, again, allows you to be able to generate content, but also be able to generate it and fact-check that it is in true uh, correct and also you're able to localize your content now what that means is let's say i'm writing a review about a product or service in canada and i want my review to be more localized for my specific region i can select my audience geography and um, katab will then give me recommendations or content that is based upon my geography so for instance the pricing will be in canadian compared to usd so this is also a really nice feature that's included by Kitab. You're able to get very specific localized content and also they fact check that content. So this really uh, checks all of the boxes that a lot of other AI copywriters don't. So again, if this um, allows us to get some really good content, I could see Kitab being a very popular AI copywriter in the future. So let's get started by testing the output quality in which we can expect from Kitab. So I'll be generating some content about how to start a business in Ontario, Canada. So again, this is going to be very specific and localized for Canada and also we'll be able to check to see um, if the content that we're getting is indeed a fact and we'll also suggest a high quality photo. So once you click that, you'll get a photo included with your content. So once we're happy, um, let's go ahead and click generate and see what type of content we get back. Okay, so the output has been generated and we can see from the image here, we get an image that gives us the permits and licenses for starting your own business. Okay, so this is actually a really, really good resource that you can use um, to allow you to sort of be directed to the right uh, places if you want to open a corporate income tax program account, if you wanted to register a business, or if you wanted to um, get some information about opening and registering a business in Ontario. So very, very specific here. I'm very happy. I'm very surprised with this um, document or image in which we got back here. Now, if I scroll down, this is the output in which we got back. So there are a few things which you need to do when starting a business in Ontario. First, you need to choose and register a business. You can do this online through the Ontario Business Registry for a small fee. Secondly, you need to obtain a business. You from Canada Revenue Agency. This will allow you to a business by the time you start taxes. Lastly, you should create a business plan, align your goals and objectives. This will help you stay on track as you grow your business. So it's a pretty short output in which we got back, but it's actually very relevant and very correct. Um, being a business owner in Ontario, I can definitely attest that this is all correct information here. So we may not get as much um, in terms of quantity, but in terms of quality, I would say that this is an A plus in terms of the output in which we got back. So let's try this again and write a paragraph about how to buy a house in Canada as a first time home buyer. Again, we're gonna suggest a high quality photo and let's click generate. So the content generation is pretty quick. This took us about 15 seconds to get this output. And we get a nice image here. Uh, we also get a source of that image and we get some content here about how to buy a house in Canada. So the home buyers plan allows first time home buyers to withdraw up to 35,000 from their RRSP. The minimum down payment for a new home in Canada is 5% of the total cost of the home. It is often recommended to make a down payment of 20%. The program offers a five or 10% of the home's purchase price to help with the down payment. So again, we get really high quality and very relevant uh, localized content here. So this is a pretty 
cool template that we have. The only downside is that you don't really get a lot of content back. But again, if you're looking at quantity over quality, you're definitely getting more quality over quantity here. And that's what really matters when you're trying to rank and when uh, you need to write content that uh, is correct. You're not really too worried about how long it is. You're more worried about how correct and accurate that information is. Now, if you wanted to generate a long form article or blog post, head over to the long form article uh, generator. And the first thing that you want to do is enter the topic in which you would like to write about. So I'll be doing the same output, how to buy a home in Canada as a first time home buyer. I'll leave that to English and the audience geography to Canada as well, because I want to know if the long form editor also has localization and fact checking built in. So once you're happy, go ahead and click generate content and let's see what type of long form content we get back. So before you get your long form article, you get to choose your article topic. So this is actually pretty good. So you can choose whichever subheadings or H1 or H2 tags you want to include within your article. So do your homework, get your finances in order, work with a qualified real estate professional, get a mortgage pre-approval, make a realistic wish list, don't forget about the extras and stay within your budget. So you can choose as many article topics as you like that you want to include within your outline. Once you're happy, click generate and the AI should go ahead and uh, create a full length article with all of those article topics included. Okay, so here's the full length blog post in which we got back, how to buy a home in Canada as a first time home buyer. We get a nice little introduction here. In order to buy a home in Canada, you will need to save for a down payment. The minimum down payment is 5%. Da -da -da. We got a nice image here. And these are all of the article topics in which we chose. So do your homework. Um, it talks about things in which you need to do uh, before uh, getting ready to buy a home, get your finances in order work with a qualified real estate professional. And again, I really like these images that are included um, within this blog post. You can go ahead and just copy this and paste this onto your website and you'll have a pretty high quality um, article. So all in all, I've went ahead and read through most of this content. Um, again, you don't really get the quantity in which you're used to for an AI copywriter, but it's very relevant and it's very um, localized for that specific article in which you're writing about. It doesn't really seem like any other general article that talks about buying a home. It really does seem like you're talking about a person that's trying to buy a home for the first time that lives in Canada. Again, it's very, very relevant and that's what you really want to strive for when you're creating content or writing blog posts. Overall, I'm really impressed with this blog post in which we're able to get back. Again, it's very, very relevant, very high quality and very specific to the audience in which you're writing about. In addition to the long form editor, you also have some other uh, templates included. So you have an AI art generator. So this allows you to describe an image and the AI will go out and create that image for you. So just describe that image and then click generate and you'll be able to see the AI generated image. Of course, it's not 100%. Uh, there's a lot of uh, flaws with these AI image generators, not just only from this tool, but with other tools. But it is nice to have it included. And I'm sure within the future, it'll uh, get a lot better. And you also have a bunch of different short form templates in which you can choose from. So you can create featured snippets for your SEO. You have an article rewriter, you have a paraphraser, a summarizer, you have article ideas, Facebook ads, brand statements, real estate descriptions, video descriptions, about us pages, pitch decks, explain code, which is a code explanation using AI, pretty cool. Song lyrics, you can generate short song lyrics for your songs email subject lines, promotional ideas, and blog outlines. So a lot of different features, a lot of different templates in which you can choose from. I do believe that this is one of the better AI copywriters to be released recently. They have a lot of really, really cool and innovative features included. And if they focus on creating fact-checked, localized content, then I really think they would have a competitive edge over a lot of the other AI copywriters. So if you wanted to grab Katab for yourself, I'll leave a link for the lifetime deal in the description below this video. I highly recommend it. I think it's a very good tool and I think you'll be able to find some value and some use for it within your own business. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.